so that's that's a good transition into something that I wanted to ask you. Okay. A few things I wanted to ask you. I want to know how you would describe these things to someone. Okay. I'm ready. The first one is how to fold a fitted sheet. How to fold it, huh? Um, I'd probably just pull up a YouTube video and show that to them. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're describing these things to someone else, not having a YouTube video describe them to someone else. I see. Okay. Um, so you're talking about the one, the fitted sheet, the one that has like elastic on it, right? Like how to fold yeah, that. Yeah, on each of the corners. Yeah. Um, I would fold it like a normal blanket. So corner to corner and then just fold over, over and over and then s- stick it wherever I'm going to stick it. Okay. I think that's easy. Simple enough. They're going to get a little, little more difficult. Mm, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> how would you describe what language deaf people think in? How would you describe what language they think in? Yeah. Or how they think had, you know, they never heard a language before. Like when you think you're putting words to thoughts and they're presumably in English. But using, well, not if you're a deaf Japanese person. That's what I'm asking you. But they've also never heard Japanese. But they know how to, like you were saying, put words together. They don't know. They've never heard a word before is my point. Like they they don't understand. They knew the meaning of the word, right? They might know the meaning of it, but like, how do they, because when you think about something, you like vocalize it internally. Oh, I see what you mean. So like, how do you describe what they're thinking about? Or like what language they're thinking in? Yeah. How do they think about something having never heard a word before? True. I'm trying to be very nice right now. No, I I don't know how I describe that. That's um, maybe they just think about how they're going to shape their signs. And then they do that or like in their head, if they're thinking to themselves, they'd be like, oh, I'd do this if I was talking to someone. So instead of vocalizing, like they use imagery and it's just like right. hands doing mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That's the best like I that. got. Um, I have two more. Okay. The next one is what does water taste like? Hmm. hmm. It's like, like lemon, hmm. like, hmm. like <laughs> lemonade without the lemon. Okay. I have zero argument with that. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's like Coke. It's like Coke without the syrup and carbonation. Yeah, it's like Coke without all the added ingredients. Yeah, <laughs> lemonade yeah. without the, okay without the lemon. Yeah. All right. And the last <laughs> one I have is the difference between left and right. That's really tough. Um, I would describe that as in America, that side of the road you drive on would be your right side, and if you're in England, that side of the road you drive on would be your left side. But that's just describing right and left, I guess, isn't it? Not. Is that no, answering the question? I, that, I think so. Okay. That was surprisingly more. I'm about to hop on Reddit and like answer these questions. <laughs> answer a couple of these questions. <laughs> like, Lem- you, you fucking, you fucking <laughs> fools. It's you just describe the road. Right. Oncoming right. traffic left. You right. You idiot. Lemonade without yeah. lemon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, good. That was good. I'm. A little upset, but also a little proud. <laughs> like ex- ex- expecting like, <laughs> like a just, job. Like more. Just struggle like, uh, to describe yeah, or some like, of them? Or like thought inducing, I guess. But no, that was good. That was Okay. Well I'm, I couldn't, I'm glad couldn't I could have done help. it better myself. <laughs> I couldn't have done it half as good myself, I don't think. <laughs>